Continuing that breaking news here at CBS Sports HQ when it comes to Aaron Rodgers staying with the Packers after agreeing to a four-year $200 million deal, making him the highest player in the NFL at $50 million per year. That confirmed by Jason Lock and four, of course. The $153 million is just reported right now, guaranteed there when it comes to him. Of course, this whole offseason leading up to this year, this past season, if he would come back, said he'd love ball. Guess he loves $50 million for the next four years as well to stay with Green Bay and make another run and maybe at another Lombardi there. For more on this, our Jason Locker for tap it in to your NFL writer, JLC. The latest, of course, on this, just this coming out not too long ago. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we knew that if the Green Bay Packers were going to secure the rights of Aaron Rodgers into the future, it was going to cost them a pretty penny. Uh, $50 million had been floating around for quite some time as – the quarterback's uh, likely asking price. This back and forth has been going on for a while, and Rodgers has signed on board. I would just say the key takeaway for me is that he gets his $50 million a year, and, and he'll be able to decide from year to year whether he wants to keep going or retiring. He's not playing four more years. I don't think anybody close to him thinks he's playing four more years. He's trying to chase one more ring. Um, but the Packers need four years for cap purposes at the very least to try to spread this thing out. Um, the next move will be Devontae Adams getting franchise tagged. Rodgers isn't coming back unless the number one receiver on the team, and some would say the number one receiver in the game, is joining him in this uh, quest to try to get one more ring together. Um, and it certainly begs the question of what the heck were the Packers thinking a few years back Drafting Jordan Love, which triggered all this, got them into uh, a pickle with their quarterback last year. They end up giving Rodgers another extension instead of ever playing Jordan Love in a game um, of their own volition. I mean, he had to fill in one thing, go real well. Um, but but clearly, they, they made a gross miscalculation a few years ago that cost them draft capital in terms of the assets they invested in Jordan Love, um, cost them the ability to improve their team in real time, and now, because of the aggrieved Aaron Rodgers, it's cost them financially to the tune of this late in his career getting $50 million a year. It better end up with a Lombardi trophy on Lombardi way. All right, so they got Rodgers, of course, nailed down there. We mentioned that for the first four years. Outside of that, you mentioned Devontae Adams. We assume he's going to get the tag, but they still have some holes here. How does this contract kind of help them with maybe retaining some of those guys or looking at guys in the free agency market? Well, I mean, if you have Aaron Rodgers, people want to come play with you. And and I mean, that, that's the reality, right? I mean, this is a team that's been sniffing around the Super Bowl for a few years now. So certainly Aaron Rodgers versus Jordan Love, if a, if a veteran free agent who's, you know, lower tier, mid tier is choosing between a couple teams on a prove it deal, he'll take less to go to Green Bay to try to win a Super Bowl, make playoff money and play around other good players, which, you know, makes your film look better and maybe you're more attractive the next year. But th they've – look, this is not going to be the same team. It's not going to be Tampa from the year they won the Super Bowl to the following year, keeping all 22 starters. Um, there's going to be a purge coming on defense. Uh, that That's just the reality of the situation. You know, Z Zadarius uh, Smith, I, I can't imagine he's back there. Um, other guys will be cut. That's, that's just the, – that's, there's a salary cap. That's the cost of doing business, especially when you're going to have Aaron Rodgers making 50 a year. You're going to have Adams on a franchise tag. Uh, there will be an opportunity cost here of guys who can't come back into the fold. Um, they're going to have to restructure some contracts, cut some guys just to be able to, to get around the cap. But that doesn't leave you much room to do much else. So it will be fascinating to watch this play out over the offseason. How hamstrung are they? How good does this roster look in 22? versus 2021 and there's also again the reality that at this stage of his career we've gotten deeper into the season Aaron Rodgers hasn't played his best ball in the playoffs and this clearly this is as all in as the Rams were a year ago or the Bucks were a year ago this is feast or famine this is the last team standing or major questions going to be asked about this front office you look at it now, you just mentioned, of course, uh, trying to make a run into the postseason. It's been a while since they won that Super Bowl there. This may be the last hurrah for Aaron Rodgers getting Devontae Adams back. You mentioned the cap situation. The Rams are defending champs. On the other side, you got a bunch of young guns in the AFC. Based on what you see right now, no, free agency hasn't started yet. 
is this a team that can maybe push the envelope and win a championship this season? Well, again, they're in the right conference. Um, even if they do have a, a number of departures um, and, and some key veterans who they're going to lose an unrestricted free agency and some guys they're going to have to cut, with Aaron Rodgers playing an, an NFC schedule that's going to be against a lot of watered-down teams, even if some people do fix some of their ills in, uh, in free agency in the draft, it's the weaker conference by far. It has the weaker quarterbacks by far. But all those regular season wins, you know, I, I'm just – they got to win a Super Bowl. And to win a Super Bowl, they're going to have to probably beat a Joe Burrow, a Patrick Mahomes, um, you know, you just uh, – Allen, Lamar. You, you look at that other conference, getting to the Super Bowl, n- not good enough. They've got to slay the dragon. And I'll be fascinated to see what that defensive roster looks like when we get to September, because it's going to be far less star-studded than it was a few years back when they made that initial splurge and got Adrian Amos and Zadari Smith and rebuilt that thing from scratch. See how that pans out there, of course. The number one step, taking care of Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. We'll see how that pans out. Jason Lockerford tapping the breaking news. Aaron Rodgers staying in Green Bay, four years, 200 mil. By the way, that 50 mil, RJ Lockerford confirming that AAV makes him now the highest paid player Don't forget the conversation continues. All things covered. Patrick Peterson and Brian McFadden. I'm sure this will be a breakdown as well as we head into the offseason and into next year as well. Download and give the guys a follow. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.